so uh, welcome to East Academia. So we are going to proceed. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how I was uh, solving those questions, uh, mathematical equations using a calculator. So here in the university or uh, in college or when you're doing calculus one, you might come, uh, these calculators might come in handy. So this is FX82ES, and this is how it looks. And this one is FX 570 VN, or this one is, um, there's, there's another one called FX uh, 991 ES. That one is exactly the way uh, this one is. So I didn't see the need of having all of them. Just these two are enough to demonstrate what you wanted to demonstrate. Now, in our, in our previous lesson, in our previous lessons, we had some functions that we were supposed to solve. And uh, this function, basically, uh, they were not things that you could solve just naturally. Yeah, so you could easily use a log table or even uh, use um, these calculators. But of course, in, here in the university, we, we, we prefer guys using calculators. So uh, a good example is the exponential form that is a uh, given uh, I can just write it uh, maybe I can just say okay the exponential term the one is given as e looks something like that uh, in this calculator you can see it's in this section here here that's where you have the e but it's written ln but uh, when you shift when you press shift you're going to get the e that is what these calculators mean. Uh, and it is the same thing that is found here. All right. Now, these sine, cos, tan, tangents, these, all of them, this one are hyperbolic functions. Now, you, you can use, uh, at this stage, you can use either of these calculators. But in more advanced stages of uh, lessons, um, or when you are doing another, another unit known as complex analysis, uh, you realize that this one, FX570, uh, is uh, way better compared to uh, FX82 uh, because FX82 is one of the most basic uh, calculators. So for you to get our question was saying, we carry out the following expression. So it was telling us that uh, y is equals to, I'm just going to write here, y is equals to uh, the exponential term uh, then I'll say it's plus uh, 3. And this exponential has the x that is there as the power. So it is uh, ex the exponential term raised by x. And we are told that x in this case was um, 100. So in essence, you can rewrite this equation by saying that uh, y uh, is equal to the exponential term. Uh, let's say plus 3, and then you raise 100. So it's the exponential time raised to 100, right? Plus 3. So then, how do we go about writing this in a calculator? So the way you go about writing this in a calculator is that uh, first you are going to go to here, to this section, and uh, shift, all right? press shift, then you come and press ln, so that's the exponential term. Then the exponential term is raised to 100. And then if you just press uh, plus after that, yeah? So if you press plus, you realize it's still inside the power. So when you do that, you're going to get, definitely going to get it wrong, all right? So what you're supposed to do, you are supposed to push, push it down, and then becomes plus, plus three, and then now you can execute it. So that is the right answer for this question. You can also use this uh, calculator and do the same. So exponential 100, all right. So you have to push it here, and then you get a plus three, and then now you can uh, execute, and you are getting the same answer, all right. Yeah, so the other one was uh, y is equals to ln, let me just write it here, it was y is equals to ln, the natural log, ln means natural log, 
uh, x uh, plus 10. And you are told that um, x is, uh, is 10 squared. So 10 squared is 100, of course. You can ever, you, you, you also you can proceed with just writing it the entire thing. Let us just do that, writing the entire thing into. Uh, so this is uh, n n squared uh, plus ten. So I'm just going to write the squared here. So you, you can write it out the way it is inside the calculators, and it's not it's still not going to be a problem. So I will just um, write it out as it is. So we'll have ln over 10 squared. You can just click here. All right, plus 10. And I'm going to close the bracket. These brackets are very important. So we're going to get 4.7. OK. So 4.7 something. So same thing you can write here ln. Uh -huh. 10 squared plus 10, 4.7, all right? So these are the things that um, we really, uh, you really have to use so that uh, uh, you get it right, all right? So remember that um, these brackets are very important and no, especially in calculus, know where these brackets are placed. The other one is cause. You are supposed to do the cause. The other one, the other function was, um, I'll just come and write it out here. It was y is equals to cause uh, x squared. Just write here x. All right, and then I'll put a two, cause x squared. All right, so you remember, uh, you know that what is bracketed is the x. What is squared is the x, okay? Because sometimes you can have um, something like this. You can have the same question, but the brackets have been placed differently. So, cause, cause x, uh, you know, the squared. Uh, is placed here. So that means you evaluate cause x first and then you square the answer, all right? But this one you, you, you evaluate the x squared, then you evaluate the cosine, all right? So cause is a cosine function. Of course, you can go online and try to graph it and see basically how that cosine function looks like, but that is not a thing that we're doing today. So these are trig trigonometric functions. So Kato, I'm sure You've learned this in uh, the lower levels of, uh, of education, so I wouldn't want to repeat them. All right, so this was our question, the first one now. Uh, and uh, what you're squaring is the x, and the x is pi. So this one, I'll just use one calculator, which I'll just use uh, the 571. Of course, you just use the same process. So cos is here, and then you're going to have a pi. And then square it. So if at all we are supposed to square after we have substituted, then our answer will be this one here. So you can notice how I've placed the brackets here. Yeah? So it will be 0 0.9969, which is not the case with our current solution. So that is how you're supposed to use the calculator. So what I'm telling you, even for these calculators, be careful with how you um, how you calculate. Uh, I can just proceed here. Let me just do this so that you can have both answers. Yeah. So yeah. So as I was saying, please be careful on how to put place your brackets. And uh, with that, I think we've come to an end to this video. So for any other type of uh, mathematics that we come across, we'll be able to solve together here. But get either of these calculators, all right? But uh, if you can find this one, you will use it uh, for a longer period because you may not need to get another calculator uh, 
uh, in future. But if you have this one, then in future you might might have to secure another calculator. So thank you for watching Mr. Academia. As usual, please subscribe and share these videos. So thank you and have a nice time.